It is the Underbelly WEMF Radio. I'm Dave Crespo. Your weekdays from 5 until 7. Brought to you by Sting Ray Body Art, Boston's best tattoos. Rusty Mullet hanging out with me right now. I got it right, right? Yeah, yes, that's that is us. Yes, sir. Have off, any of you ever had a mullet? No, not no. to my knowledge. I don't no. think any of us ever have. So, but it's possible that maybe your mom cut your hair into a mullet when you were young. Yeah, it's like possible. she thought it was funny or something, <laughs> and then just snipped it right off the edge. I had a rat tail when I was really young. Really, a rat tail. I had a friend at summer camp when I was ten. Uh huh. And the way I'd pick him out of a crowd was by his rat tail. <laughs> really? Yes. Because it's really ugly. It's one of those <laughs> things that's just like, why would you do that? My dad hated it. You know, like, my mom let me have it, because, like, some yeah. kids were doing that. My dad was like, you look like a... And you know what he said. <laughs> you know what he said. Hell yeah. He said some, like, hateful shit. I don't even know what he said, but it was, it was hateful. It was hateful. You can't say that anymore. Right. Pro- probably. <laughs> Most likely, I would say. So, Rusty Mullet, you guys just played live, and we, would, like, record it these days, and it's, like, not as, as cool, but it'll sound glorious. What, what did you guys do out there? I heard dubstep. That's why I'm, like, specifically bringing this up. Dubstep? I heard, like, a dubstep bass part. Guitar part. Oh, I think you're referring to the end of Demented? Yeah. Because the very end of it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's... That's an interesting way to talk about that song. That's just... <laughs> if, if you don't think that's dubstep, then you are, like, you're way too young. Like, if you... Too young? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we're too young, John. I mean, we, we are kind of young. That's... So. Yeah. That is... That's dubstep, like... I mean, I don't know if it was a bass, necessarily, but it was, like... That's what... That's what dubstep does. I can I can see the dubstep okay. coming from that part. I'm not yeah. saying that you play dubstep. I'm saying that like you <laughs> use an element of dubstep. And, like, that is fair. I mean, I never thought about it that way, but I'm not opposed to saying yeah. that. Yeah, we're expanding our horizons. Like dubstep wasn't bad. It was just that like it it was just constant. Like every single song had, <laughs> and it's like really yeah it gets again, to be again again and again. I don't know if there is there any music that you could just hear again and again and again and you would be cool with it. Yes, yes abso- absolutely. What is it? Uh, I mean, there's a lot, but I could think of one off the bat would be Big Thief, one of my favorite bands. Okay. In the whole wide world. I don't think I think I'm looking for more of like a a genre or a sound. A genre or a, just any sound? Yeah. Any sound. Any sound. Yeah. Like a jackhammer. <laughs> Why would you want to hear that eternally? <laughs> Because you basically do anyway if you live in a city. Well, I don't live in a city, so why would I want to hear that all the time? Where do you, you guys live in Easton, right? That's yeah, we, yeah, that's yeah. where we're from. We live in... Easton. It's not... But it's, that's not where we're from. Not, yeah, I mean, I'm from Rochester, New York. Okay. And What's I'm, up to the Bugs Jar? Bug, yo, you know about the Bug Jar? Yeah, I yeah. played there when I was in high school. Yeah, that place. I've been up there. Fun times. Dude. There's a picture of some dude's dick on the wall. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff in the ball. You gotta do is look at the walls, and you'll be like, wow. I would, I would say maybe try not to, but then like, <laughs> like, like just look... Like, because you are looking in front of you and yep. see. But there's just a dude, like, hanging out with his dick out. Wow. Flaccid. I gotta, I gotta go check that out when I'm back home. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely one of the most important things to see in Rochester. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if you're going sightseeing, <laughs> dick on the wall in the bug jar. So you're from Rochester. Where, where do the rest of you guys come from? I'm from right outside New Haven, Connecticut. Okay. I New Haven also have been to some cool places. Stella's Blues yeah, place. Yeah, Stella's is cool. Stella's is fun. I almost got murdered over there. Oh yeah, New oh. Haven is not a good city. Oh. Not at all. I mean, Yale's there. I mean, yeah, but if you like go off Yale, it's like, it gets bad real fast. Well, I was at Stella's and there was this guy who was writing a book about murdering people. And like, I kind of felt like he was... He won like a case study or something. Was like, oh my. Yeah, it was, it was awkward. Book about murder. What about you? I'm from Rainham, Massachusetts. Rainham? Yep. Isn't that where, is that where the outlets are? I'm not aware. I, I've seen, I'm not from here, but every time I go on the highway toward his house, I see a sign that says Rainham Outlets. Yeah, the I think Rainham Outlets. the Rentham Outlets. Rentham. 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 Maybe? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Everything here. Your hair is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> you all have actually really good hair. But Thank you. I think he's committing most wait, to this Wait, wait, but wait, wait, hold I on. I know. Wait, I know. I take the dreads out. I know. Do they dude. get better? They're, no, your hair is clearly awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's sick, and you've got great hair too. But this thing, this thing, this is um, like you know he's Pompadour. like what did you <laughs> two do to your hair today? And no. I, you did your hair. I did my hair about a week ago, and I just woke up like this. When was the last time you did your hair? <laughs> I don't do my hair. I just wash That's it. What I'm, when was the last time you did your hair? I brush it maybe once a week. Okay, so I'm, I'm still gonna go with you. <laughs> I, put, I put hair gel and then I go to bed. 
Is it hair you gel? Go to bed. Yeah, a little bit of hair, hair gel. Hair gel. Like, well, that. Hair <laughs> I mean, that's God suave. You know what I mean? Like, why, why, why spend seven fifty on a fucking bottle of conditioner when I got conditioner coming from my wayside? <laughs> I mean, when you you like heard it here way. first. Yeah. Jizz <laughs> equals conditioner. Period. Well, no, it's more of a condition. Condition. Like when you do that, you now have a condition, and it's insanity. <laughs> oh, okay. You're putting cum in your hair, and you know. I agree. There's, there's that. Rusty mullet. What's, what's like the? How did you guys meet? I guess that that's really the. Well, the this story has become a more interesting told. story since the last time we were asked that question. Okay, so why? Um, but tell me the story. Yeah, it'll, it'll all get explained why. So originally. It was myself, and I was leaving my band in high school behind. What's the, what was that band called? That was called Weekday Pleasure. <laughs> and that was a fun thing I did in high school. But then I went to college here, and I was like, I want to start a band. And in our class of 2020 group chat, I was talking about playing guitar. Also, we were in German together. Oh, yeah, Shout we out to also, Golden. Shout out to and Professor Golden. Is this at, like, RIU or something? Stone, Stonehill College. Okay. Yeah. Which so, is in... Easton. Easton. Easton, right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, I, I met John in the group chat, well, met him, I messaged him in the group chat and asked what kind of music he liked to play, and so we kind of met up, and that was bass and guitar. What was his answer? Uh, anything, which yeah, was always the right answer. Okay. So then, uh, in my orientation group, uh, there was a kid whose fun fact about himself was that he was a drummer, and I was like, oh, drummer, I know a bassist, I play guitar and sing, this yeah. is already good. So... Then Brian so came you up. went to college being like, I'm going to find a band. Yeah, no, I knew that when I was getting that. That's like, not easy. It's, it's, you said Stonehill. Stonehill, right? yeah. Like, there's not, you know, it's Berkeley. Obviously, yeah. you're going to do that. But mm -hmm. at Stonehill, even at Emerson, which is a creative college, yeah. it was not easy to find a band to play with. Oh, yeah, no, I, I was just determined, and I went in with the mindset, like, I need a band to play with. You were like, Universe, I am ready <laughs> for a band. The yes. biggest I'm issue is solid. actually finding a place to practice. Like, we, yes. we recorded a whole first album in a dining hall, so. At our school. I like that. Because that was the only place they. What's the name of it? Is it re re referential to the, the dining hall? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, not the album name, but <laughs> yeah. on the inside of our album, on the album jacket, it says recorded in Cleary Dining Hall. I just feel like you should have named it like, uh, I don't know, like, like Meatloaf Special. Meatloaf Special. Or like, <laughs> Meatloaf. you know, like Lunch Mother. It's pretty close. Lover or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty close. It, did you ever have a lunch mother that you would have sex with? A lunch mother? Yeah. Like generally, like there's hot teachers, but there's not usually lunch mothers. Lunch mothers lunch are the women mothers? that like serve is, you lunch at. at wait, your wait, high wait, wait. We don't call them lunch mothers. Lunch where I'm from, we call them lunch ladies. Yeah. I'm old. Yeah, uh, you know? well, well, you don't look that old. I don't look old, but I am. Oh, okay. You know? I see how that works. It's, it's just, <laughs> I'm 31. Wow. You know? Too. Yeah, That's I know. Wow. <laughs> your mouth. Yeah, you that, are. I, I thought you were 31. I <laughs> no, you are. I mean, yeah, you're older than us. I yeah. <laughs> you got, I graduated from college when like Barack Obama wasn't even in office. Wow. Yeah. yeah no, I was Obama like in elementary school when Barack Obama. I remember watching it. I said, I, well, my mom woke me up and she was like, "You won." I was like, "Okay." I mean, that shit was crazy. Yeah, it was, was crazy. That was a, an amazing moment. But all right, so you guys form. We, we make a, a record met. in a lunch room. In a lunch room, uh, but so there were four of us. Three. The sensitive subject. Well, it's not sensitive because we're fine. Yeah. But like, it's recent. There was no, there were no hard feelings. It's just uh, our other guitarist stepped down uh, a few days ago. A few days ago. A few days yeah. ago. Was yeah. there a question? Did you guys say like, well, I don't know, I don't think we can do this radio interview thing? No, well, we knew no. we had to push on. We, yeah, we no, well, I mean, well, the first thing is <laughs> personally. Balls. Personally, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love David. David's a great guy, and David's a good guy. Wait, if his name's David, like, I don't know. I go by Dave. Yeah, no, he goes I, by Dave, too. He goes by Dave, yeah. Okay, I hate when people call me David. Ugh. Oh, it's really? Just, it's just like, it's like, my mom calls me that, you know? It's like Mike and Michael. People named Mike hate being called Michael, I've discovered yeah. in my day. Yeah. He really didn't care which one you called him. Yeah, he really didn't care. Well, but, that explains a lot about him, then. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but uh, he, he just decided he didn't want to. You know, what, how do you just decide that? You guys seem like you're you're hanging out, you're having fun. You're he, what, did he not want to get laid? Doesn't he know that that's how you get laid? <laughs> he in has college? a girlfriend. Uh, enough said. <laughs> enough I, said. I don't even want to go further on that story. So you guys are now three. Yeah, power trio. Power you have trio. like dubstep sounds, but you don't believe that they're dubstep <laughs> sounds because you guys were like 14 when dubstep was a thing. Yeah, which is you know I'm not holding it against you. I'm just saying that like. 
as an old dude. <laughs> like, I feel like that's it. Sounds like dubstep to me. So, what would you say you guys sound like? The, um, well, the easiest thing to poop out for an answer is usually like, and we're not comparing ourselves to these acts. We're just saying we sound like them put together. Uh, Jimi Hendrix and Nirvana, like those that just putting those together is wow. like our main vibe. That's like grungy blues, rocky like. That makes me Deal. feel like like that answer. I'm not saying that you guys sound bad or anything, but that answer is kind of like reading a menu at Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like they're like it's just gonna be great. We're gonna have like 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 Asian food. <laughs> we're gonna have like Irish food and like maybe even some crazy barbecue. <laughs> you know, like why do they always have so much shit and they never do it well? Because they're just trying to get you in the door with gimmicks. Most we don't do that. We went to Fridays, to TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays, I best guess maybe 14, 15. Okay, so not they're not bringing you in with their their vast menu. They're not because I just I don't I don't eat meat, so going to restaurants is usually a waste of time for me. Certain restaurants, because I'm like I don't want salad. And there's really nothing else interesting. It sucks buying salad because you're like, I'm paying for you to open up a bag of lettuce. Exactly, <laughs> and put it in a bag and put some stuff on top of yeah. it and give me some dressings that I made you a salad. No, you didn't. You put a salad together for me. I bought a salad today that had cold, it was cold lettuce. And I'm not saying, like, that's fine. You know, I just don't feel like lettuce should be cold. Like, the chicken was also cold, too. Like, oh. I don't know, it, should, it shouldn't just be cold. Like, as if they, they, they put it in a refrigerator. Yeah, and just, just take like, it out, like... Salad for some dude. Yeah, was Show was like twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for a bad salad. I mean, I'm not gonna say bad. It was cold. It was cold. You know, twelve dollars for a cold. Trip. <laughs> cold salad. Cold salad should be at least ten dollars. And like you can't at most ten dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna say nine fifty. Nine fifty. I can. I can do nine fifty. It's reasonable. So, what about you guys? You you guys eat meat? Yeah. Um, yeah. I try to eat. This best as possible try to avoid fast food and really possible. as like college students it's just i don't understand when i well, was in college i ate like rats and stuff like that <laughs> i mean i'll eat a rat but i won't eat you know McDonald's or anything like that all right <laughs> just because of like the the joe rogan aspect like like fear factor like I'll, i will eat a rat yeah am i winning a exactly. million dollars yeah i mean if i'm winning a million dollar winning a million dollars i'll do a lot of things for really million dollars. Well, like what hmm 20 bucks. 20 bucks. would you <laughs> would you kick one of the members out of your band for one million dollars. Do I get to replace them? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, no. yeah. Why do you look at me? What? What? I'm going to take that million dollars, get a oh. new band member, buy us a oh tour bus, get God. some PR work. Oh, man. You're just tour forever out of the band? <laughs> that is so rough. I wouldn't do that to my bandmates. You know I what the worst part that. about this is? is? The look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he's like, well, he's still the new guy. Well, he's, he's only the been around member of the band. He's only been here. For... You should see the look, though. He was just like, I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take like a third of that. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty mullet, which I don't even know what that would look like. I'm kind of just thinking of maybe, like, you know, what was it Street Fighter? Like yes. the, the green guy with the red hair? Yes, yes. Imagine him with a mullet. I can see it. I can see what it. What was his name? I don't remember. Ugh. I always watched video games. I never played them. I always watched other people play them. I, I respect that. So I never really got, you know. Like, I can't play Goldeneye. Goldeneye? I, I don't even know what that is. That, that's old. Oh, is that old? <laughs> like, you know, like Call of Duty. Like those games. Oh. Like first person shooter oh, okay, games. Okay, yeah. Doom and shit like that. I had a few, I had a few games like that, but I, I, I just, can't play them. I had a short game phase. Like you don't play video games? Oh, I don't play video games at all anymore, no. I haven't played them heavily since I was about like, I don't know, like 11 or 12. Wii is the way to go, dude. Wii, I have one of my, my best friend plays Wii yeah. obsessively. It's amazing. Wii's fun. Yes. Yes, you should hang out with Jess and Liv. They, and play Wii with them. They play Wii a lot, yeah. What do they have? Because Wii is super outdated at this point. Well, yeah, no, they have like a little TV and a, <laughs> and a Wii. Yeah, you and can't play <laughs> Wii on a nice TV. No. It's got to be a little dingy. Yeah, no, it's a little, it's a, it's, well, it's not dingy. It's just a... It's got to be sm smaller I disagree. size. I disagree. I, I'm actually getting a new TV in here, and I, I'm going to try. Oh, I wonder how I, I'm going to negotiate to get the Wii. How am I going to get, get it? Get a Wii up in her, and then just have, instead of having live bands, just have people come play live Wii well, games. This, all right, this is the thing. So this is going to get real for a second, but Whoa. just follow me. Okay, I'm so following. So I am getting divorced, and I'm talking about, like, what do I get? <sighs> and I really want the Wii. 
You know what I mean? So how do I like just be like just be like when I don't have the Wii, I I can't sleep. I need the Wii to tire me out at night. That no longer matters. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> this true. is for blood now. This is for blood. like I need to I need to give something up for the Wii. What am I going to give up for the Wii? Do you have any unimportant instruments that you do not use? Or like a culinary set or something? Yeah, like a like a set of knives uh, or, or your bed sheets. I'm taking the Wii cuz she gets the cat. She gets the cat. That's cat. personal. Oh. Like if you get the cat, I get the Wii. Yes. You yeah, that's fair. that's fair. Cat for Wii. But in in addition to the, that, I like my mother bought us this TV for Christmas a few years ago. Yes. Like a sick TV. Plasma screen Ooh. or whatever. You know, I don't think they make those anymore. <laughs> Ultra 14K. Yeah, they have some. 37HQ. It's like 3D now. Yeah. But you know where like the room that you guys were just playing in? Yeah. Like when you walk out, there's a kind of a, just a space that a TV needs to exist. Because we're going to have a Super Bowl party here. Oh, that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, and you guys are invited. Oh, are we you. invited? You're awesome. invited. Wait, I'd love to go. Cool. Yeah, I'll be no, there. I've never gone to a Super Bowl. Well, party are before. you? Are you guys 21? Uh, no. no. All right. Well, sure. You guys are not invited to the party. Okay. <laughs> Understood, you. my man. No, but really, they're whatever. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna have a Super Bowl party. We, every year for the Super Bowl halftime show, this band Xanois plays at halftime. Oh, because, that's like, cool. You know, fuck Lady Gaga. Yeah. You know, well, I, I mean, no, I know. I mean, she's like a good person. I just don't like her music. Okay, but Justin Timberlake is doing it this year. That's, Justin that's the Timber issue. If he doesn't perform Dick in a Box, I will send a personal complaint letter. I never even thought about that. To whoever is in charge. Wow. And Jimmy Fallon did that with him, right? Yep. So, yep, like, yep. Jimmy Fallon would have to Or wait, do that no, it's him. not even Jimmy. Is it Jimmy Fallon or Andy, Andy Samberg? I don't know. It might, I, I think don't it's know. Jimmy Fallon because Andy Samberg wasn't really like. It wasn't a thing yet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you're too way. young. I'm too old. To know that. that's, that's <laughs> we weird. gotta get someone in between. Yeah, right in the middle there. But so we're gonna have the Super Bowl party because we always do. But now I have like this sick setup because there's like a couch and a TV like you know 20 feet away that mad people can just stand in front of the TV and just nice get messed up and just do fun stuff. Yeah. It's going to be sweet. Room for activities. That's Have like a about. pit during the Super Bowl? Yes, <laughs> well, that's a pit during the Super Bowl. I'm going to, but I'm going to get this Wii and I'm going to just play Wii in that room and it's going to be ridiculous because across the street, there are people that live and they can look in, in here and that's been really disturbing because <laughs> they just see me naked playing like, the, or they will see me naked. Playing <laughs> they <TV>. will. <laughs> yeah. If they haven't, they will. Yeah. It's just going to be like, oh yeah, that's the, the guy who, who runs the radio station. And he plays Wii naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the then, we naked change the name of your show to we naked man show <laughs> I, think, I think that you know i'm not going to change the name i'm just going to just do another show just do another just like, show there's a separate show called the naked we dude the naked we dude naked we guy <laughs> on weekdays get it no, that could be his weekend name oh, oh okay i mean okay rusty mullet you guys have been fantastic at some point i feel like there's gonna be a thumb drive that's that's placed here but in that, in the meantime, where do people find you guys on the internet? What's the next show? What's what's um, going on with you guys? So you can uh, go on our Facebook page, uh, just search up Rusty Mullet, and you can see all of our shows there. Um, but you could also go to rustymullet.bandcamp.com and get to our website from there, which has um, all of our dates. The next date we're going to be playing is going to be Rochester, New York, on January seventh. Is and it at then, the Bug Jar? It is not at the Bug Jar. It's at Photo Why? City, which is a new event. Oh, okay, okay. you right, want to hear some right. crap about the Bug Jar? Considering uh, you know about it, I, yeah, sure. I, I mean, mean, I don't want to like propagate hate against the Bug it's Jar. It's not but... that I'm propagating hate. It's just that they've they've developed a super like dislike toward people who aren't 21 years old, <laughs> and they just they used to charge two dollars. Uh, if you were not, you know that like Boston hates everyone under 21. Yeah, yeah oh, believe me. Away. Oh, believe me. We've figured that out. <laughs> In our search for gigs, but like I've, I dealt with it too. I was 18 in the city. Yeah, it's just so everyone's like, no, like I've we've literally gotten so far in the door where they're like, yeah, like what date do you want? What bands are you gonna play with? Yeah. And then they're like, oh, by the way, are you 21? I'm like, no. I'm like, okay, well, you're not. Playing well, you can here. go to Sonya's. Do you know about Sonya's? Sonya's, no. Sonya's. We should we should do a show at Sonya's. There's a I've been trying to do an all ages show over there. I like Lily Black and wait, not I. We we would be yeah. more than happy to do a show. Well, this is yes. this is all. It's all happening now, man. Yes. We Super Bowl parties. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lily Black at Sonya's. All, all Asia shit. Well, dude, the, I don't know. That's that's real. They sell beer over at the at the Bug Jar. They you know. 
Well, yeah, but they used to let under 21s in. It was just $2. Yeah. But then they started this new thing where it's if Donald you're under Trump, 21, man. you got to be five. It's five extra dollars on your ticket. Are you serious? You, you can't cough five up the five dollars. bucks? But come on, ten. You're not you, buying right, drinks. Listen, were you, in, were you in a band in high school? Of course. Do you remember trying to ask your friends in high school to come see your band? I, always, your, I still do. And you're okay, but that's adults with money. When you're in high school, no one has money. People don't have what, jobs Are you yet. kidding me? My, my friends have less money. You just ask your mom, like, <laughs> hey, mom, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to stop jerking off in my pillow. Oh, but can you give me twenty dollars so I can go to the bug star and see my friend? Well, my friends did not do that. They were buying other things with the money that they would move from their parents. You know what? So I, it was harder to ask. Plenty of money. I used to sell porn at high school. I had a business. That <laughs> you should, were a was, porn dealer. I was a porn dealer. Yeah. I have never yeah. heard of a porn. Well, dealer. that's a generation thing too. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, right. Okay. The internet didn't have like accessible. Yeah. And good porn. And Sometimes good it would porn. be accessible, and you'd yeah. be like, uh, who, I can't really see a face. Is that a nipple? Is that a guy? Is that a guy? <laughs> Is that a guy? <laughs> and then you get excited because oh, you'd be like, am I in the – oh, my, I shouldn't be excited about that, you know? <laughs> it, was, it was a weird time, so I, I created clarity for many young boys, and I had a, a, a vast, vast collection of pornography. Or my stepfather did. Well, there I, you go. I just circulated. You know what they say. Stepdad's porn is your porn. <laughs> <laughs> Do they say that? I'm pretty sure they yeah, say that. That's that's common knowledge. That's, yeah, that's straight common knowledge, dude. You should get on that. Uh, rusty mullet. I think right, we're almost ready. Or is it? What about you? Talked about there being a new record that yes, you're coming yes, out. Yes, we yes, yes. have twelve. Well, we could do twelve, but um, basically yeah, between yeah. ten and twelve. Uh, songs, new original songs that we are about to start recording, actually. Uh, we're playing a show in Rochester, and then a few days later we're playing in Albany. And in that gap in between, we're going to stop at a studio up in Rochester and start uh, recording that album, and then we're just going to record the rest of it in-house when we get back uh, get back here second semester. It'll probably be out like early next year, March, April. I like the tenacity that you guys have in that like you don't care that there's... I mean, is there another band at, at Stonehill College? No. no. Yeah. No. That's like, so, well, you just, like, conquered the market. Yeah. Basically. You must be smashing it with, like, weird-looking Daria girls. <laughs> just I mean, killing it. I mean, it's like, it's like, well, he doesn't go to our school. Yeah, he goes to Bridgewater. He goes to Bridgewater, so we don't know what he Oh, Bridgewater, so you guys got to get to Bogarts. Is that this Bogarts? Bogarts? Like, it's it's closed, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. Oh, God. Because we tried to get a show there, and the guy was like, yeah, call me. And then after a while, I just never heard anything, and and then we thought we saw it was closed, so. You go to the Riv, pick up some, like, 40-year-old women. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, you know. Dude, let's do could that. Could be fun. You maybe could learn something. <laughs> you know? Experience. Experience life. All right, this is the Underbelly on WEMF Radio. Rusty Mullet did play a live set. We're about to hear it. Is there anything that you want to preface? Did you mess anything up that you want to like be like, you know, in, like three minute point, like don't listen. Uh, um, all the singing is terrible. I hate the lead <laughs> singer of the band, and he's not good at his job. Are you talking about him again? Or are you trying to get him out for the million? No, he's not the lead oh, singer. No. I am. <laughs> yeah, he's talking himself. Okay. If you heard um, me sing, you would not enjoy it. But yeah, the, the probably. The drumming's kind of iffy, too. Yeah. Oh, Connor, you guys, you guys oh. sep self-deprecative, like, youngsters. <laughs> you know, when I was your age, everyone was just like, I'm awesome, I'm the best. You can't do that anymore and be cool. No, 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 no because then people listen to you, and they're just like, no, you're well, not. You're not. No, no, you're so not. You can say cool things about other people. That's, That's true, right. actually, because, like, back in the day, like, having a good recording was not easy yeah so you could be like that's what the recording sounds like but we're really better than that and then yeah. they'd come and they'd yeah. be like no you're not no, <laughs> you're just not it's not not the case rusty mullet here thank you guys for for hanging out thank Chilling you thank all, you for having us all that good stuff this is the thank underbelly you. on wemf radio i'll be back next monday through friday from five until seven next monday i got the underhill family oh, oh. orchestra and maybe another act i think one of them canceled, but whatever. It's all happening now. This is the Underbelly. I'll catch you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Stay clean, Boston.